Hey, YouTube, it's me, Zipster. Guess what I'm doing? Yeah, packing for San Francisco. Uh, it's not that fun, but, you know, you got to make a little fun out of it. So I'm going through my shirts thinking, oh, what do I want to do to be representing out there, you know? So, of course, I found this one, All American, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it because it's, hello, All American. Hey, hey, got it. Yeah. So, the best part about, um, about going out there, because I'm, I'm overflying, to tell you the truth. But I get to go, um, I have a two-hour layover in Detroit. Detroit is my favorite airport ever in the history of the world, okay? Then I got in a cereal mood while I was shopping for shirts today. So I bought myself a Frosted Flakes one. Yeah. And I bought myself a Cheerios one. Yeah. And of course, who could go anywhere without, hello, your Fruit Loops t-shirt. Yeah, I said it. So anyway, yeah, I have a two-hour layover in Detroit. And there's this place there, it's a bar, well, bar, restaurant, you know what I'm talking about. And it's called the Detroit 500, okay? So I've already been there three times, because I don't know why, I was, my layers were always in Detroit, but like I say, it's the coolest airport. So last time I was there, I was flying home from San Francisco, the last time I was out there, right? And I got in, I had, I had a five-hour five hour layover in Detroit, right? I arrived at five o'clock in the morning. So the Detroit 500 doesn't open until what time? Uh, six o'clock. But till I walked over there from where I was going and all that stuff, it was like half hour. So I got there, was, like the girl was there setting it up. And I remembered her from my last trip to the airport, right? So I said, hey, how you doing? And she's like, hey, you YouTube guy, right? I'm like, yeah. So um, I like totally put the salt and pepper out on the tables and ketchup and stuff. I helped her like set up the restaurant. So she gave me a free Danish for breakfast. Okay, great. So... Then I went, sat down for a little while, tried to nap, you know, left the restaurant, sat down, tried to nap. That didn't work. So, okay, around 7 o'clock I went back and I'm like, okay, well now it's like lunchtime because I feel like I've been awake for hour. So I had, um, I don't remember, a grilled cheese or something. And she's like, yeah, how long are you going to be here? I'm like, dude, I'm here for like hours on end. Okay, so I hung out with her for a while, smoked a couple of cigarettes. Yeah, because it's the only place in the airport where you get smoke. So then... Went back, tried to rest a little while over by my, you know, by my gate where I was supposed to fly out. And then I couldn't sleep. And it was like, oh, I'm going back to the restaurant. And she said, okay, well, now you had breakfast and lunch already. What are you moving on to now? Dinner? I'm like, well, yeah. So then I had something. I don't remember what I had for dinner. But then I realized, hey, if it's dinner, then it must be cocktail hour. So all in that five-hour span, I had my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and cocktail hour all at the Detroit 500. So I strongly suggest if any of you ever have to go to the Detroit airport, look for the Detroit 500 because it truly rocks. And tell them, Zipster, that crazy guy from YouTube sent you and uh, they might give you a Danish. Okay. I'm very excited about my trip, but I'll talk to you before. And um, I mean, maybe I'll even do a video from the Detroit 500 so you can see how cool it is. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. <laughs>